All right. Moving on from what we saw last week, we are now going to start solving equations involving variables and addition and subtraction. So we can solve these any number of ways. But down here, I have a plus 2 equals 8. I can use a tape diagram to order my thinking, or I can do it algebraically. We'll do algebraically in a second. So in one of these boxes, I'm going to put an 8. Notice how they're the same size, because we have an equals here. So I'm going to put 8 and a plus 2. So I'm going to split it up and say this box is a, this box is 2. So what we're really saying here is some number plus 2 is 8. Well, shouldn't be too difficult to figure out, but 6 plus 2 is 8. So a equals 6. Uh, up above, we have some terminology that we knew, have used before. So variable, expression, equation. We're going to be dealing with equations today. Anything with an equal sign is an equation. So how would I do this algebraically? a plus 2 equals 8. Well, we're going to be using inverse operations. So the inverse of addition is subtraction. And what I want to do is I want to subtract 2 from my equation. And whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do the other. So right now I see this as a left, left side, and a right side. This is a nice trick that Mrs. Bush taught me. I can draw two lines, and we're going to call this the river. So whatever happens on one side of the river, the left, has to happen on the right. And I want to get, in the end, I want to be left with just my variable on one side of the river. So in order to do that, I need to subtract 2, the inverse of plus 2, subtract 2 from both sides. a plus 2 minus 2. Well, 2 minus 2 is 0, so I'm left with a, bring down the equal sign, and 8 minus 2 is 6. So we got the same answer, just slightly different ways. So let's try that with another example. b plus 9 equals 15. Same thing. I'm going to take one of these boxes, I'm going to put 15 in it, and I'm going to take b and 9. b plus 9 equals 15. So what plus 9 equals 15? Again, we get that b equals, oops, that's not b, b equals 6. 6 plus 9 is 15, b equals 6. Please keep in mind that some of these are very easy right now, and you can do them in your head, but I still want you to follow the steps and show your work, because once we start getting into more difficult problems with more operations, it is crucial that you show each step. So b plus 9 equals 15. So again, I'm going to draw my river. And I want to undo plus 9. I'm going to use the inverse operation to undo plus 9, which would be minus 9. And whatever I do to one side of an equation, I have to do to the other side. 9 minus 9 is 0. I get b equals and 15 minus 9 is 6. Okay, next one. Now we see a minus in our equation. So if I were to draw this, it's a little bit different. The entire picture I have right now is D. And I'm going to split off a small chunk and say that this is 5. So that leaves this section here to be D minus 5. D minus 5. And we know that that section is 7. Because we say D minus 5 is 7. So 5 and 7 together make 12. Well, let's do that algebraically. d minus 5 equals 7. Well, if we're talking about inverses, if subtraction was the inverse of addition, then vice versa, addition is the inverse of subtraction. So how do I undo minus 5? I need to add 5 to both sides. Add 5 add 5. So think of this as negative 5 plus 5 becomes 0, leaving you with just d on one side, and 12 plus 5, oh, sorry, 7 plus 5 is 12. So we get the answer the same way. But 
this is the more algebraic way. Now let's look at a few other examples, some that involve negative numbers. 20 equals x minus 7, negative 3 plus y equals 12, and negative 15 equals 10 plus z. Now if there's no symbol in front of a number, we have to assume that it is positive. So positive 20, and if there is a symbol in front, by in front I mean to the left, this is a negative 7. So if I were to solve this, the inverse of minus 7 is add 7. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides, plus 7. 20 plus 7 is 27, equals negative 7 plus 7 is 0, leaving you with just x on this sign. So x is 27. Let's just check our work. 20 equals 27 minus 7. Is that a true statement? 20 equals 20? I think it is. Negative 3 plus y equals 12. Draw my river. Draw my river. How do I undo negative 3 or minus 3? Well, I need to add 3 to both sides. Plus 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0, so I'm left with y equals 12 plus 3 is 15, and I get y equals 15. Let's just check that. Negative 3 plus 15 equals 12. Well, if we remember our integer rules, when I have a negative plus a positive, I keep the sign of the larger, so my answer is going to be positive, and I subtract the small from the large. So 15 minus 3 is 12. And lastly, negative 15 equals 10 plus c. Well, this is a positive 10, so how do I undo a positive 10? Well, I need to subtract 10 from both sides. Minus 10, minus 10. Well, I have a negative minus a positive, so it's going to become more negative. Negative 15 minus 10 becomes negative 25 equals 10 minus 10 is 0, equals z. So let's just check to make sure that works. Negative 15 equals 10 minus 25. 10 minus 25 is, in fact, negative 15. Negative 15. And we found our answer. Please use this video to answer the problem set and uh, the worksheet. The problem set will be due Friday. If you have any questions, just email me and I'll answer them as quickly as I can.